Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add the stat menus onto the Mac operating system. So these are all stat menus which are showing you the actual background processes of your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install this. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So all we need to do now is to go to the iStats menu website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And we're going to press the download here. So we're going to download the trial version and this is gonna come as a zip file. So once that's finished downloading, we're gonna to go to Finder, and then we're gonna to go to Downloads, and then we have our iStats menu 6.62.zip. So now we have our iStat menus download, we're gonna double click on the zip to extract it. And once that's complete, we're gonna put it into our Applications folder. So we're gonna drag this here and drop it into Applications. So here we're gonna go ahead and scroll down, and we're gonna find iStat menus here, we're gonna double click, and we're gonna press Open. And now I'm gonna press the Install button here, we're going to type in our password and click install helper. So now you can see we have these additional menu items at the top of the screen here. You can go ahead and customize them however you like. For example, we can go ahead and turn down some notifications. You can also do things like turn on and off the memory tracking. And you just go ahead and make sure it's right for you. If you want to be able to save some space, what you can do is go ahead and press the combine button here. What that's going to do is going to push together all of the items into this one drop down so it doesn't take up too much space. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to be able to continue using iStats in the long term future, what I suggest that you do is to press the buy button. That's going to let you use it past the 15 day free trial. You can go ahead and buy a single license here. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.